Let's see if my design stands up to the real world. These are four quick projects that were not worth their own videos, but were totally worth a compilation video. Number four, the matte screen protector on a curved display. Curved displays are pretty, but present challenges for matte screen protectors. In fact, all of the matte screen protectors for my phone skip the curve area entirely, just leaving a ridiculous strip down the center. So this project was about perfecting, cutting and bending an existing screen protector to fit my display. Perfect would definitely be an exaggeration, but it works really well. Number three, the magnetic phone ring. I've been using phone rings since a couple of years before they became popular. I think I need a beard. The Mac can be a bit embarrassing. And then I found a magnetic version that was way better. Over time that wore out and so it was time to replace it, but unfortunately they weren't being sold anymore, so I had to make my own. I've been through a few iterations of the design now, so I'm really confident in my design. So, like I hinted at the beginning of the video, let's see how it stands up. Side note, there are actually variants of this available on the market now, so that's really cool. I really do recommend uh, giving those a go, because it's really nice having that convenience of being able to position the ring wherever is the right place for that particular moment. Number two, the T-Bag. I used to commute for a few hours every day by train, and each way I'd use a Bluetooth keyboard connected to my phone. I wanted a way to hold the phone up higher so then I wouldn't be hunching over so much, and stands like this just weren't suitable for use on the train. So I made the magnetic hook, which sticks to the back of the chair in front. I then had a bracket, which would then sit onto that hook, which would hold the phone into the right place. While recording the Patreon how-to for this video, I came up with a much, much better way of doing this. And that's what led me to the tea bag design. Let me know in the comments if you can think of a better name than the tea bag. Oops, lazy. Number one. The keyboard. My all-time favourite phones had keyboards. I really love when the tool provides the ability for you to learn muscle memory so that you can get really fast at working with that tool. Physical keyboards provide this, but they also do it using no screen real estate. And on most phones, they flip out of the way when you're not needing them as well, which gives you the best of both worlds. You get both a compact device and you get that muscle memory. My favourite balance device is the Sony Xperia Mini Pro because the keys were still pretty easy to feel even though they were tiny and the phone remained really small as well. But my favourite phone to type on is actually the Gemini from Planet Computers and so it'll be no surprise that I have backed the Astro Slide which I'm hoping to get fairly soon and have some projects in line to show you for that. In the meantime I really wanted to get that experience of using a physical keyboard on a modern phone again. But Bluetooth keyboards really aren't reliable enough, especially in crowded environments. It connects to the phone via USB so it doesn't have the Bluetooth reliability issues. It sticks to the back of the phone using the same method that magnetic phone rings and car mounts use. It's really easy to detach and reattach, and because I didn't include any rubber on this one, it's really easy to rotate as well. I've really enjoyed using it. You may notice that sentence is in past tense. On this specific keyboard, the keys are too small for me and I find it really fiddly to use. And the keys that I use regularly are a little bit hard to reach. That will definitely be fixed when I get the Astro. But in the meantime, all of these are pretty simple, but if you need tutorials, those are available on Although I'm making the screen protector one available on YouTube, that'll be up in the next day or so. There are links in the description for all of those. If you found this video interesting, please drop a like and consider subscribing. I've got some really cool stuff coming up.